Do we have a clip from him on Legion yeah. of Skanks? This is pretty funny. He was on Legion of Skanks just yesterday talking about... This is big news for the stuff. comedy. Again. Community. Joke world. I mean, this is the best week of his fucking life. What I'm presenting to you is Shane is a very, very light, soft comic that is safe to play at schools. This is something that little kids, you know, ages eight and up can enjoy. That is it. Whether you like it or not, that's not to be argued. But when you're going around thinking, oh my God, this is uh, this is some pretty risque, edgy, crazy... Co-. You've got your head all wrong. You've got it. So um, here it is. Shane on the Legion of Skanks. This Phenomenal is pretty good job stuff. this weekend, man. Thanks. It was so cool. It's incredible. Thanks, man. It was... Uh, <laughs> I was at I was at just for laughs. Uh, just to G. E. Smith. Everyone was so excited, man. Oh, nice. I was trying to get out of there, and like it's funny I couldn't watch it in Canada because Woo. I don't have whatever streams NBC there. So everyone from my show was like, <laughs> "Gonna go back to your room and yeah, watch yeah. the show now." I'm like, oh, you had, no, you had, a, you had no. to subscribe. To, <laughs> yeah. You had to subscribe to Maple Plus. Yeah, so some- you gotta see nervous little Shane because now he's a big star, right? They've given him the world. They've given him the keys. He's uh, got an eight movie deal with Miramax. Uh, he's instantly been, you know, propped, uh, projected. He's the new Adam Sandler. They've got him in everything. Netflix has him lined up for six more specials. They bought this pile of shit, uh, Andrew Schultz infected pilot from him. Some homemade project called Tires that was just bought by Netflix. They're going to air this. People think it's going to be the next office. <laughs> It is not. It's co-stars Andrew Schultz, by the way. (laughs) Okay, that's, you know, immoral. And even Shane's fans all hate Andrew Schultz. Did you guys know that? But Shane is a new man now. And he wants to be part of Hollywood. He wants to be going to those parties, friends with those people, and he doesn't want to get kicked out again. Remember, he's the one who wanted to be on SNL in the first place. Think about what that is. You don't go on SNL if you're any cool. You go on SNL when you're ready to shake hands and hug a lot of fucking pieces of shit. Because you're hugging the cast. Why would you go on SNL? A.D. Bryant was a cast member there. So you want to be her co-worker? You want to be A.D. Bryant's co-worker? That, to me, is enough. I don't need to know anything more about a person than that. You want to hug half these hosts and guests that come on this show and musical guests? You want to hug and hang out with them? Shame on you. And that's what he wants now. He's scared as hell, and he's in this battle. Oh, boy, do they got a tug of war on Shane. Is he the uh, Internet's bad boy that is here to save speech? Or is he Hollywood's new it boy? And he is being tugged like this. He don't know what to do. He's scared as hell, as he should be. And he doesn't have a plan. And now he's on Legion of Skanks, which he booked because he's got a plan. He doesn't want to look like he's selling out now. He doesn't want to look like he doesn't remember his past. He's going to do Legion of Skanks two days after his SNL. The first interview. Legion of Skanks. You know, that was done. That was calculated. That'll make me look like I'm still same old guy. It represents, you know, the real ass community. So he gets on Legion of Skanks, but he's terrified, okay? And Lewis is really... Does, this is almost Lewis's best performance on any podcast I've ever Love seen him. coming up. Lewis, he really goes... <laughs> Sorry. Goes for it. I'm just going to reword how I was going to let that come out. He, he goes for it here with Shane, and Shane gets pretty scared, and there's a lot of really disappointing moments in this. Giveaways, and that's why I say joke world, you know... This is not the guy for you. Joke World loves clean comedy. Well, yeah, maybe this is the perfect guy for Joke World. Could be absolutely spot on. Who's this girl? Pretty fucking hot. Looks like Megan Fox. <laughs> Looks just like Megan Fox, who's the hottest chick. Did you know that? And I don't agree with that. By the way, I gotta say this every two months. Megan Fox, to me, is nay. <laughs> Rotten to the core, nasty. I wouldn't go near her. Near her. I wouldn't talk to her. I wouldn't speak with her. And how about this? Chelsea from Love is Blind does look like Megan Fox. She looks exactly like (laughs) Megan Fox. Stop harassing her. They're harassing her on Reddit. Stop harassing her. I don't like when regular girls, these Swifties, start harassing people. (laughs) You're not a Swiftie then. Okay? 
You're not exhibiting the behavior of a Swifty. If you're harassing people on Reddit. Okay. <laughs> she did nothing wrong. Okay, you got to watch this. This is a good insight here to uh, Shane, the new Shane, who is really taking comedy for a ride. He's really uh, selling out. Listen to this. Than shitty. It's always shitty. I'm gonna wait and see what NPR says about the monologue. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's just <laughs> fucking find out what Hollywood Fuck Reporter. It. Dude, it's really funny. Depending on the publication, it's either Shane Gillen. You know, he's sitting here. He's so worried. He's sitting here. He's got this black baby doll, and now Shane's at the level. There'll be another. Why is Shane sitting? Why does the baby need to be black? Why is it propped up? You know, Dave's shot has a uh, Proud Boys bear. Yeah, in it. did you see the proud look? <laughs> Shane Gillis sits proudly next to a Proud Boys teddy bear <laughs> and a black doll. Ha ha ha! I He's guess. Sitting. I guess that's so funny. Why? Because it's a an- oh! And Shane just has to motor through this, being like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's so Shane, totally Shane's in a great. really interesting position. This is a great time to Shane watch. <laughs> just like he was in that headlock in the pool with Kelsey Thompson or whatever his name was, Lamar, uh, Lynette Thompson, uh, Taylor Lalonde. Taylor Lalonde. Uh, he's in that headlock again, but this time with America. You know, so it's funny to watch him squirm and we're the only show pointing this out. Nobody else really gets what's going on <laughs> with the whole Shane stuff. Oh, you had, you had, oh, a, oh, you had no. to subscribe to, <laughs> you had to subscribe to Maple Plus. Yeah, something <laughs> shitty. It's always <laughs> shitty. I'm going to wait and see what NPR says about the monologue. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's just <laughs> fucking find out what Hollywood Fuck Reporter. It. Dude, it's really funny. Depending on the publication, it's either Shane Gillis makes yeah. triumph from return to SNL or Shane Gillis bombs and offends <laughs> yeah, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see offend. It was just like, that's what. I- he didn't like the fact that half the article said he bombed. That wasn't a nice feeling for Shane. That was a terrifying feeling for him on the way to the after party reading all the articles that he bombed he doesn't want to be bombing he doesn't want to be fighting for free speech he wants to be a full hollywood celeb let him get in there don't fuck this up but he doesn't know what to do because he can't start yelling at you about it but he did in that deleted tweet it's proof watch little shane this is a big turning point in his life and only i can help him once again (laughs) <laughs> Once again, only I may help because these rest of the guys, they don't have their eye on what's actually going on. They're so distracted by what they can get. <laughs> From Joke World to Lewis. Watch this. Shane Gillis bombs and offends <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I didn't even see offend. It was just like, that's why when I watched it, I was like, what the fuck are they possibly yeah, talking about? I, I, was like, I was like, shit, was it a rough monologue? And then it was not a rough monologue. No. And it's just, it's just weird. It was fun. Yeah, <laughs> it looks fun. fun. It looked like it was, a lot of fun. It was, no, funny it was a lot of fun to I had you? my phone off like all week because I, you know, I was dying. Yeah, sure. Stress. And then uh, in the car from SNL to the after party, I was like, let's see what, uh, see what everyone's saying. It was like Shane Gillis bombs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I got done. I was like, damn, I fucking, I did great. Yeah. <laughs> worst. <laughs> the worst the hosting in history yeah, of it was SNL. so hard not to. <laughs> you were no better than Hugh Jackman. I mean, really. And you guys don't watch the show, so you can't tell me he was the best. He was not the best. I mean, I've seen Ariana Grande kill. I've seen them all kill. You should see the fucking episodes we've sat through. <laughs> He did no better than some of the worst, most boring football players who have hosted this show. Really? And who's this fucking beauty? Is this Anise? Anissa? Idub's girlfriend? I got a hot new show for you guys. Anissa and Idub's. Wait till you see this clip. Okay, watch this. Really? That's all I, oh, I was thinking about. Really? The whole set. I was like, don't say fuck. Don't say fuck. Oh, Dorian said, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't say fuck this violinist behind me that won't laugh. She's great. Here we <laughs> go. Okay. So Lewis brings it up. He brings up that girl that was behind Shane in the SNL band. Who's not a violinist, Lewis. She is an electric guitar player. She's the Matt Mueling of SNL. She demands more respect than that. So Lewis goes, yeah, that violin, bitch. And this girl is probably the nicest person who works in all of 30 Rockefeller Center 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say fuck this violinist behind me that won't laugh. She's great. <laughs> Why is everyone doing that? <laughs> this fucking redheaded twat behind so me. So he instantly, she's great. Why is everyone doing it? You know, he's got some frustration about this because every one of his fans was tweeting, he doesn't want you guys fucking this up. These are his new best friends. Don't ruin it for him. He wants to be part of SNL's Hollywood. That sick, sick scene. He wants to go to those after parties every week. Him and Gillian Keeves basically making his own SNL, Gillian Keeves. He's an actor. He's a performer. This is worse than a gay or a retard. <laughs> the words that they wanted to hear so bad. So he instantly defends the girl. He's very nervous about this. He doesn't want you guys fucking up his new life. <laughs> Why is everyone doing that? <laughs> this fucking redheaded twat behind me. No. If, by the way, if this bitch right here wouldn't laugh, I would turn around and spit in her fucking face. <laughs> laugh. You see that? That's the way I you wish, react if you're behind me. I wish I saw that they weren't laughing. That would have been funny. But it wasn't around. Right. Be like, the, right. the band was the most. Yeah, the they're band totally was. See, Big J, Honest J, similar to Honest Abe. Honest J is the only honest person I look up to. He's only not. Mm -hmm. He's dishonest about some of the sex stuff that he gets into. But that's <laughs> Honest J. He goes, "What? I watched it. The whole band was laughing. Listen to this." Behind me. No. If, by the way, if this bitch right here wouldn't laugh, I would turn around and spit in her fucking face. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> You see that? That's how you react if you're behind me. I wish I saw that they weren't laughing. That would have been funny. But it wasn't around. Be like, the, right. the band was. The most. Yeah, the they're totally was. fine. The band was. The band was one. Yeah, they were totally fine. Totally fine. Just like the deleted tweet. There it was. Totally fine. They weren't laughing. That would have been funny. But it wasn't around. Be like, the, right. the band was. The most. Yeah, they're the totally was. fine. Yeah. They, they do. Was totally totally fine. Isn't that what he said in the tweet? Mm -hmm. There you go. Same guy. Unless somebody is so smart, they would copy that. I mean, think about it. Shane Gillis fans aren't that smart to fake a tweet like that. Nobody's that smart to figure. Oh, he says it was totally fine. I know he says that a lot. No, 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 no. That's his stance. So that was his tweet. So he snapped on everybody because they're getting in the way of his new big career. I love this shirt, though. I can't lie. This is a beautiful <laughs> Notre Dame shirt. I love the material on this paired with this hat, too. That looks fantastic. They always do. Uh, see, I so I watched it, but obviously I wasn't paying attention to that chick while I watched it. And then I saw the one freeze frame just, on Twitter. Yeah. But I'm like, was she actually like stone? No, because it could. I paid attention to what mattered. Moment. I paid attention to what mattered. The black guy in the back who was laughing at every single punchline. That was big. That was that huge. Was big. He's got dreads. The Shane Gillis says uh, that was big when a black guy laughed at. Well, why wouldn't a black guy la be laughing at you, huh? Why is that such an accomplishment to Shane Gillis? <laughs> hey, NPR, do you need a hand writing a few articles? Reach out to me. 69 bucks a pop, baby. I could give you a headline after headline if you want Shane Gillis stuff. I, I got some sick headlines. Shane Gillis secretly in love with Swamp Donkey from Dave Portney Universe. <laughs> Whole thing. That guy is black. Uh, they, I wish we had a black person here to laugh. They fucking. <laughs> I, I pray to God. There's black every week. people here, but they just never laugh. <laughs> oh, there is one. There can't she is. be involved. What's in up, this? girl? He's scared. Oh, see, so he's trying to make faces just so he could be like, dude. See, I wasn't about that. Look at this. <laughs> oh, there is Honest one. There Jay. She is. What's up, girl? Race trader. See? He made a little face showing, you know, in case they clip this to get me out of Hollywood again. I'll be like, you could see I'm very displeased by them uh, joking around about blacks. What a horrible limbo to be in it is. half in Hollywood. I mean, that can kill you. Here's Lewis's <laughs> girlfriend back here. His new uh, girlfriend. Damn. I don't know why he hasn't proposed to her yet. Tell her that on her IG. A skank fest wedding. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would be nice. Be the only wedding I attend. It would be Louis J. Gomez and I would love to meet my fellow peers <laughs> at that wedding. I will be in a wheelchair, so that's my instead Even of a gun. Try. You can't bring a gun to a wedding, but you can't sit in a wheelchair, and that means no one could touch it. You're with this guy? Piece of shit. What would your all uncle right. say? Look, all, <laughs> all right. right. Thanks, Lewis. Uh, all right. Thanks, Lewis. Let's wrap it up. You're going to see a lot of this. 
Let's move for. Let's get out of it. No, 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 this is racism stuff. I know I had to do Legion of Skanks because, you know, I got to stay remain hood. But uh, he's going to be very verbally against all these little racial comments. He's not going to add to them and he's not going to agree with them. And he's going to even eventually tell you what they're saying. I do not agree. With. You're going to see that. Uh Oh, joke world. You're in big fucking trouble, joke world. <laughs> but no, it was the, the the dress rehearsal monologue. I could see you can see the whole upper deck of the room. So I just watched Questlove not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> just up there, like, oh fuck. Can Questlove. you get a picture of Questlove's stone Should face? We, uh, fast forward touch? to the next one. Yeah, here? you can get a four twenty five. Four. So what would I do? Zero four two five. Zero four two five. There you go. Here we are. Drink three more shots. <laughs> rubbing, rubbing the hands together. Rubbing the hands together was for there real. There we go. Listen. Oh, you're gonna love this. Thought was the funniest thing to open the monologue. <laughs> was going. <laughs> okay, love to see right. a plan come together like this. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Shane, did they give you? Did you? I mean, Listen. did they know you were gonna say gay and retarded in the monologue? They had to, right? Did you know you were gonna say? Did they know you were gonna say gay or retarded in the monologue? And you go, why was the word... Wait, what happened there? Was there like an audio glitch? Listen to this. <laughs> Shane, did they give you... Did you? I mean, did they know you were going to say gay and restored in the monologue? They had to, right? Okay, so... Oh, it appears they've edited the word retarded out <laughs> on the Kings of Edge, the Legion of Skanks. So, to all the people cheerleading Chain on for saying retarded... Odd uh, SNL. Just remember, it's not even allowed on the Legion of Skanks. I'm going to save your ears here. <laughs> so they can't say retarded on Legion of Skanks, but shame on SNL for trying to stop him. Hey, on SNL, they let him say retarded. That is a word you can't even say on Legion of Skanks. So who's edgier? SNL or all these people fantasizing <laughs> that they're the edge masters, huh? Hmm. Very interesting there. I they know. Uh, they just like, yeah, what you're going to do? No, I didn't do it at rehearsal. <gasps> you didn't. This and is a fib. This is a half fib. So he goes, did they know you were going to say the words gay or retarded? I love how people think that on TV you can't say the word gay. It's literally much half of SNL sketches are gay yes. themed, making fun of gay people. And themed. by the way, the word gay is literally what they're called. <laughs> it's allowed on every show. They don't bleep it. So people all over were putting him up like Teen Wolf in the basketball game because he said the word gay. That's what you guys need on TV. He, and he said it in a context talking about him being gay. So it's not like he was on there, oh, finally, he says, fuck the trans people, you know, gay. <laughs> to, you're applauding just the word gay being said, but it's not even banned from television. It is banned on Legion of Skanks, the word retard. So it must be awful. If it can't be said on Legion of Skanks. Right, they know. Uh, they just what you're he's going to do a fib No, here. I didn't do it at rehearsal. <gasps> you didn't. And you just said, fuck it. Shane's doing this. This is a fib for his audience, making him think that he's a badass freedom fighter like Norm. Okay, where's Norm now? Okay, where's the hero? Norm, you're not a hero if you're gone. Did he die of old age? No. He killed himself. So what kind of hero is that? Uh, I see the same people talking about how they hate the guy who burned himself alive with Palestine, saying that Norm McDonald's great. Same fucking thing. <laughs> so Shane's going to do a little fib, and they go, did they know you were going to say retarded or gay during your set? And he says, no, I snuck that in there. But he didn't, because it continues, and he explains <laughs> He gets the cheer. Well, he gets the cheer. Well, that's that's why Questlove wasn't laughing. He Obviously. did not laugh at rehearsal for that. Yeah, yeah. He, what, you didn't give and, him the uh, they did not laugh at rehearsal for that. So you did it in rehearsal. So it wasn't something you pulled out to show them on national TV. And then he's going to explain how he did tell everybody. Uh, yeah, there was a lot. There was like, nobody's ever worn a t-shirt. You can't wear a t-shirt. You got to wear a jacket. Changes the wow. subject. I was like, I'll wear a watch. Louis C.K. wears a t-shirt on it every time. Same t-shirt that you wore, basically. Same color, same cut. With it. Like, 
Fine. Fine. Okay. I'll watch. <laughs> so they, they didn't know you were going to say gay and retarded in it. And did they say anything afterwards? Some people knew. Some people I knew. I told the right people. people. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the right people all knew. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> so you just, to sound cool in the moment, because you got a big cheer when you were like, did they know you were going to say gay and retarded? You're like, nope. That was all me. <laughs> Woo! Well, everybody knew. Okay, can you take back the chair, please? <laughs> that it, it, uh, you should give everyone in the room five dollars for a refund on the chair. Oh, nice. Yeah. The right people know. Lauren, no. <laughs> no. And then he winks. So he's been doing this all episode. He says Lauren, and then he says no. But look, then he winks. Nice. What? The right people know. Lauren, no. <laughs> okay. So you told everybody, everybody knew you can't, you, and, and this is what I mean. He's very afraid of the system. He's working with that system that they've all been complaining about. <laughs> Shane, I would, I would, I would advise against it. <laughs> no, you don't want to say that. <laughs> did Lauren, everybody likes you. Would you? <laughs> did Lauren, uh, did he, did, was there like a fun conversation of him telling you like, it's like fucking go for it, man. Like it's. Yes, he was very, cool very, moment, yeah. he was very supportive. He was always supportive. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm the there must have been a cool moment. Like, he was I like, because I kept telling him what I was going to say, and there, he was oh. literally just like, don't tell me. Let's do it. Because he doesn't want to have, I'm sure, sure, sure he sure. didn't want to have any He wants no accountability. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> that's hilarious. you're here, I trust you. Yeah, and then he was shocked when you didn't say a damn thing <laughs> that was against policy. That's why there were no beeps. You know, that's why there's nothing. Barely even any outrage. Nobody even cared. <laughs> uh, the word retarded has been brought back for years, by the way. They say it everywhere. I just, you know where they said it? Episode one of Ted. That horrible Seth MacFarlane show. They said retard on Ted. Didn't make news. It's on national TV, right? What, what channel is Ted on? No. We thought it would be on Fox, but it's not, remember? I think it's on Peacock, the same as SNL. Peacock, same as SNL. They wow. said retard episode one of Ted, which we saw because we're doing the research. You know how many episodes of Ted I'd, I had to sit through to know what's up? That you can't Ted? just run around. Everybody else runs around and says what's happening. Joe Rogan, you hear him every day. You can't do anything in movies anymore. You could do so much in movies. I'm covering my eyes in movies. They're doing so much. <laughs> Half the movies we watch, I go, Jules, tell me when it's fucking over and I'm screaming because they're doing something so offensive <laughs> in a movie. But you got Joe Rogan and all these people parroting this information that you can't do anything in a movie. You can't do anything on TV, but they don't watch it. They have no idea what's going on. And that's an unfair report to people. Riling people up, enemonizing people over uh, something that's not even happening. It's a fantasy that it's happening. Just go. Fun. Yeah. He was, yeah, obviously, you know. And according to Louis, she said, F it. I did not. Um, no, he did not. <laughs> they edited out behind the scenes. But in my, head, <laughs> in my head the entire time, <laughs> you were saying, don't say it. <laughs> Please don't say it for once. <laughs> if you can, for one time, for once. Like, put together. <laughs> Dude, I, would run, I was running the monologue the whole time. You can go to 6.30. 6.30. He was zero. running the monologue. Did you hear that? 0630. Zero. Yeah. He was running the monologue. Imagine running a monologue. You know? I didn't even look over my fucking notes before coming here. That's too much. That's cheating. <laughs> Basically, and then I woke up on Sunday at fucking 3 p.m. Oh, and assumed. started going through it, and I was like, did I die? <laughs> Just pictures of me with people like... <laughs> so this isn't she's talking about. I don't know if you saw this. The day before SNL and the day of, every comedian was posting their version of when they were with Shane. The new all-star of the world. Tony Hinchcliffe's was one of the worst. Do we have that? Can you pull up Tony Hinchcliffe's Instagram? You got to see Tony's little Shane. You know, it's like when people die. This is why Photoshop Y was created for Dane Cook. You know, when somebody dies, everybody, all the celebs post a picture of them. Remember when Stan Lee died? Dane Cook has got a show. Hey, look, I knew him. Isn't this wonderful? And boy, did they get those those posts up on instagram super quick after the death this would be like if moments after richard lewis died i showed pictures of me with him it's distasteful so uh 
in the same way that they do that whenever somebody dies, all the comedians decided to post pictures with Shane the day of SNL showing that uh, they knew him. And wait till you see this one from Tony Hinchcliffe because we, we've never seen Tony act like this before. This was pretty bizarre. How bizarre. So look at Tony's little photo set. And Tony posts this. And wait till I read this caption to you. Oh, look at that. I got 100 likes here, Jules. Congrats. 40 comments, 100 likes, six new friends. Coming up. So You're after popular. the show, I mean, after the show, I'm in fucking heaven reading that. A hundred likes. Could you imagine that? I'm a rich man, folks. <laughs> so here's Tony, and look at him. He's posting a whole series. It's not enough to just do one photo. Here he is again with Shane, proving that this, he might have given Shane his start. Here he is, <gasps> fake laughing at Shane. This black ink that shoots out. Here's Shane drinking the Bud Lights, of course, an epic shot. Here's Tony. Oh, he's uh, getting, look, shaking Tony's hand, proving they're really close. <laughs> and then uh, another, a black and white as if Shane has died. <laughs> That's the shining. Yeah, it really is. Let's see, is there more? Oh my God, there's even more. Look at this, Tony's. Even this, Red Band's like, okay, Tony. I truly know him. Don't believe it. Here he is with Roseanne here. And just pictures of him. Kill Tony, of course. <laughs> and look what Tony writes. My best drinking buddy, favorite DJ, Austin neighbor, future Hall of Fame guest, cancel cousin, you wish, and dear brother Shane Gillis, host SNL tonight, and I haven't been this excited about that show since I was 12 years old. I'm stuck in Pittsburgh tonight, but we'll be having a viewing party somewhere here after the crew and I smash a theater. Make sure you watch. I have a feeling the usually woke networks will see a ridiculous shift. Unbelievable. And all of the people being like, wait till SNL sees the spike in yes. raid. It's like you do know every other SNL host is a giant Giant celebrity. star. <laughs> They're like, SNL's never. This is a historic moment in SNL's ratings thanks to Shane fans. <laughs> It's like, have you seen the... They've literally had, like, the president on. <laughs> so, it was really misguided. But here, Shane's going to talk about the people posting these pictures. And here, you're going to see Lewis with another slam dunk. Although, he has edited retard, so I'm deducting a bag. But, but actually, I'm going to give the bag you back. you saying that, I hope, since I love Lewis right now, maybe the guy who posted this clip just did all of that editing, now that I think of it. Well... It's they're directed to because they don't want to lose the monetization on YouTube. So, so they want to make a money off of Shane. That's interesting. Friends making money off of friends. I hope he's not trying to make any money off of me. <laughs> so, okay, Shane's going to speak on this, and Lewis, I'm going to uh, give him back a bag after what he's going to say here. I was like, did I die? <laughs> Just pictures of me with people. Like, <laughs> also, that was the funniest part. Is like. It was like everybody being like, yo, me and Shane are boys. It was, I've been, I was blacked out in every picture. <laughs> every single picture poster was like me laying in a parking lot. Like, ah! yeah, I, I didn't even know I met that guy. <laughs> it did, it did feel different with you. And I did not do that because that's gay as fuck. But it, thank you, Lewis. <laughs> and I did not do that because it's gay as fuck. You hear that, Tony C? You little rotten rat. <laughs> And then they're all going to cheer. It is gay as fuck. It did. It did feel different with you. And I, did I don't not use do those that terms. It's gay as fuck. But it, for the people that did do that with you, like, I, to be honest with you, like. I thought it was nice. It, no, it was because I genuinely, it was different because I genuinely felt like everyone was truly happy for you. Oh, yeah. And oh, it we're drinking. It wasn't, it wasn't like, like a lot of people like, dude, like nobody's happy for Bert. <laughs> I give him another bag. Or Andrew Schultz. Hey, I love them. Andrew Schultz, who's in Shane's new Netflix show, Tired. And look at Shane's surprise. Andrew Schultz is Shane's good buddy. He knows about uh, Bert, but he didn't know about that everyone hates no. Schultz. No, so this is really, this is great because, so Shane and Schultz are actually really good buddies. So much so that Shane, in his self-produced series, Tires, which Netflix just bought and will be airing soon. He hired Andrew Schultz out of his own pocket to be on this show, Tires. 
and he's just finding out now that Schultz is kind of hated. He's one of like the hated comics. Like for those of you who don't know, Schultz has a ton of hate. Like there's a lot of people who don't Here, like quickly Schultz. go back to next step and click the tires note. Yeah. I'll show you this tires. And then note. I just have like a couple screenshots in there. Tires. Yeah. You could see the, uh, screen. Oh, hold on. Let me refresh that tires. It's a new series. It's going to be awful by the way. I don't know why you guys think tires is going to be good. Are these comments? Yeah, so this was after they saw the, the big tires announcement. It was going to be in tires. Oh, I'm trying to blow this that up. the top comment. must be behind here. You behind here, little guy? No, nope. where did you run off to? Tires. Did he pop up? There he is. Okay, so this is the tire. After they saw Andrew Schultz in one of the these pictures. The poster's like, ah, oh, tires. Tires with Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz is the top comment. Money's going up, baby! <laughs> Business is booming, dog! And then look at all the uh, comments here. Any chance you'll have time to reshoot without Andrew Schultz? <laughs> Top comment, 460 dogs. <laughs> oh, great. Andrew Schultz is in it. God, I hate him. 43 dogs. Why can't they get away from Schultz? Dude is a terrible actor in a shittier comic. 47 hearts. And then you hear... Lewis make this crack about Schultz to Shane, who's just now releasing a series with Schultz. Was it, it wasn't like, like a lot of people like, dude, like nobody's happy for Bert. <laughs> Big laugh. Andrew Schultz. Andrew Schultz. Hey. I love hey. The <laughs> That's my co-star that I hired, self-hired. So he didn't know he's, you know, he's a little distracted here with all his fame and fortune that he didn't know that okay. Schultz is on the outs. He ain't cool. You could go to eight um, minutes if you want one more second of Lewis making him nervous. Okay. Lewis making him nervous. The name of the game. And this is why we're, we've deducted bags, but we've given them back. That, that sketch with the, with the sex doll chick. You guys had a lot of chemistry. Physical I, I chemistry. Saw throughout throughout the toy. entire night. The whole, the whole gag that was... That was cool. The whole how, gag how was, was that. If you remember, I, assuming everybody saw this whole episode, he did a sketch with Tim Heidecker's Sarah Squirm. Sarah Squirm was Sarah Sherman's original name. They made her change it for SNL. It was too wacky. <laughs> so they changed it to her maiden name, Sarah Sherman. She's the uh, crazy looking psycho. We've been, uh, you know, keeping an eye on her. And uh, they, what if, they, you know, how there's like the iconic SNL, like everyone's like more cow, but like there's all yeah. the SNL skits that everyone knows. Now the SNL skits that everybody knows are going to be fugly. fugly <laughs> because so they did only the ones on the Shane episode. Yeah, so they did this <laughs> sketch called, F I hate to say it. This is one of those things I don't like repeating. Fugly. Fugliana. Oof. It hurt me to say. Which was a sex doll that was ugly for guys that were too intimidated by hot sex dolls. And Sarah Squirm played the uh, main ugly sex doll that Shane Gillis was uh, palling around with. So you got this, this guy here. He's going to go, yo, there was some chemistry between you and Sarah in the thing and then they're all going to grill shane about wanting to fuck snl cast members he gets very nervous here watch how he reacts to some of this throughout throughout the toy. entire night the whole the whole gag that was, was cool the whole how, gag how was, was that, that? like what was, was that about like was she question? really cool stop stop and support we got it we know your question your question is is it. she cool no the question wasn't is she cool we know everyone's cool now everyone's great now right which we all oh that's what i love to hear from my top comic that everybody is cool and great. That's really nice. Very interesting. So she's cool. So he's avoiding the subject here. He's looking very scared. <laughs> this isn't like a guy having a good time here tonight. Let me reiterate a question. Did you fuck that bitch? No. <laughs> Shane, did you fuck that bitch? No. Was, uh... Did you fuck that bitch? He knows he can't be talking about uh, associates like that. Your no. female co -stars. Look at that. Did you fuck that bitch? And look at the, the, the scared face here. Reiterate a question. Did you fuck that bitch? No. <laughs> Shane, did you fuck that bitch? No. Who was, uh, which chick? <laughs> no, which close. chick was that? Uh, Sarah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sorry to break the news here. It is time for my famous 
Nine Pill Challenge. Okay. Don't want to be doing this one at home. This is very dangerous here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A little update about these uh, pills. I think they just definitely are doing something real bad to me. They are killing me. They are definitely killing me. And uh, the doctor, I keep hiding the fact that I'm taking these from the doctor. I think a lot of the problems with me happen to be from t- these. Thank you for allowing me to treat myself. <laughs> Literally. Okay. It's the only show where you have to do some treatment in between. It's just some treatment. You guys will know what that's like when you're older. Okay, so they're making Shane very uncomfortable here with all the fucking of the cast member talk. I can't say this. It's going to get a little worse here. Let's see. No. Who was, uh, which chick? <laughs> no, which close. chick was that? Uh, Sarah. Sherman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's oh, ugly. the ugly Anna? She's what was it called? Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's the name of the thing. But I guess I said this on Bonfire. Today. He's getting worried. I find her attractive. <laughs> she's hot. I think something, she's cute. Shane she's says no. She's a Shane says no. Guys, can you do me a favor? Uh, no, no, no. Joke it's, World, can you please clip him saying no, that no, ugly no. Anna is actually ugly, please? No. Well, joke World, see? she's very... Yeah. By the way, we're getting Joke World shout outs out there. <laughs> joke World, can you... Joke world, how does it feel, baby? He's made it All because of me. <laughs> Joke world owes me his whole career. I'm the one who got that ball rolling for him. I really did. Have you ever heard of fucking Joke World outside of here? And now you're hearing it everywhere. All the top guys. Shane didn't go, who's Joke World? He knows. So look at Shane's uncomfort as Lewis tells Joke World to clip this clip about him sexualizing the uh, co star. World, can you please clip him saying no, that no, ugly no. Anna is actually ugly, please? No, it's Joke World. She's very she's yeah, hilarious. She's too. clearly very pretty. She's hot. Oh, I think, uh, her, Chloe Fineman, hot. They, they, have, they have good girl cast over there, man. Yeah, the toys, toys are great. Everybody's, toys. Everybody's great. All right, do me a favor. Hottest girl cast member who you'd smash backstage right now. Go say it. Good. Look at the camera. <laughs> no. Jane, look at the camera. Whoa. Jane, who would you smash? Chloe, dude. Chloe. Shelly. 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 You know what? I think Shermanator might fucking bring the heat. <laughs> She probably doesn't catch a lot of dudes. Shane, if you had to, guns against your head, you have to smash unprotected sex oh, behind the... Now that's the shot, huh? <laughs> I mean, this really... This is where Shane's at right now. The hand, it can be the American flag attached to this side. Because America's got a gun to his head. So poetic. Oh, God, it feels so bad. Gun to your head. Who would you smash? On the side of SNL, who's constantly uh, Meanwhile, there's on edge second. about rape stuff. <laughs> We just need a second gun to his other temple. Yes, from the other side. Yeah. <laughs> so watch this. Probably doesn't catch a lot of Shane. D. If you had to, guns against your head, you have to smash unprotected sex behind the scenes backstage at SNL on your fucking big debut. You, gun you, against your head. Uh, you agree you to take audience Colin questions. Jones, Michael Longfellow. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes with the obvious answer: Michael Longfellow, one of the male cast members. Not a serious answer. He's too afraid to answer. <laughs> Michael Longfellow. That's a beautiful guy. <laughs> God, he's a beautiful. Guy. He, yeah, okay. yeah, beautiful. Uh, They're all great. No, no, no. Me and Sarah never. No. Oh, nothing. Yo, what is that? What is that looking about, dude? I think she's a lesbian. I'm not. <laughs> she's not a lesbian. Lesbian. She's not. How do you know? No, 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 no. no. Oh. no, no. You heard it here first. <laughs> he's worried. I, I'm, I, it's not even uh, as a. I oh, you guys know what that is, right? <laughs> the fool's gold. I was about to do a great segment on how Lewis invented a new kind yeah. of fool's Full sip, sip while watching Casey Rocket, but then he ruined it. He did ruin it. We can't count that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look at this fool's sip being taken. No, no, you heard it here first. <laughs> She's, I just thought she, I, I'm, I, it's not even uh, as a... Eyes wide I open. She was. Eyes open and drinking means big problems. Now, I hope I've never done that on this show. Jane, she, 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 did did she look at me in the eyes right now. Did something happen between you and that girl? No, I swear to God, no. Ooh, I he doesn't like this. God, no. Shane. Look at Why are you doing it? You're just making it. Shane, it's okay. You don't got to kiss the towel, but look at me as, you, as your bro. You're just, just making so- me laugh. <laughs> oh. That's never been the truth. 
<laughs> no, I no. <laughs> Look, classic skanks type of humor there, huh? Classic skanks, New York stuff there. <laughs> For the record, we've been drinking. That's why I'm laughing. Oh, <laughs> see, he's doing records now because he knows the whole press is watching. NPR's taking a look. So listen, he's saying, for the record, now this is important, for the record, he's talking to the people he don't want to be in trouble with. Look, for the record, we've been drinking. That's why I'm laughing. Oh. <laughs> All right, I feel good. I had a couple of drinks. Yeah. I had a couple of crisp Bud Lights, <laughs> responsibly. And <laughs> I have a driver. Remember, he is now a Bud Light spokesperson. We also saw Joe Rogan and Kid Rock settle their beef with Bud Light by promoting and drinking it. I couldn't believe my eyes. Broke my heart to be lied to like that by them. I thought they were in this, like me. You know, when I saw that Bud Light thing happen, oh my God. You know how much time I invested in that protest to see these guys fold for cash? So that broke my heart. It broke a lot of people's hearts. And they really can't believe you even did that. But you guys are so unaware of what's happening in the streets that you just thought, oh, Bud Light, it's a, it's a joke that they're protesting it, huh? <laughs> That's how little you know about what's going on in the hood. We weren't kidding about this Bud Light protest. This was a big, big deal for us. <laughs> and I can't believe you're drinking that rainbow juice. Okay, that's what I call it. Sissy swirl, swill. Disgusting. Trans urine. I wouldn't drink that shit if I was dying in the desert. Not me. So here is uh, Shane. He's doing a little Bud Light plug, and we're going to hear a few more times. He really doesn't want to be associated with this type of stuff anymore. Very responsibly. I've only had five, as you can see. Uh... Hold yes. on, wait. Hold on. Did we ask for another question? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, my headphone came out. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody, somebody crawled at a table like a weirdo. Um, All right, honest, so Jay. For a question. Hold on. Give him a question. Jake. Jake, do me for being security slash question guy. Yeah, but he's being, a little, Jake, he's being too much security, too less guy holding microphone. Uh, explain Limu Emu. Oh, yeah. dude, so funny. What do you mean? Explain that's, a, that's a really stupid question. Sure, I mean, what kind of performance? What kind of guest is this? What kind of behavior is this? Just eyes darting around the room. He's got too much on his shoulders. He's got this a lot on his shoulders. Too much for one man. Was there more that coming was up my where last he says, time code, okay, yeah. but if you can remember anything from me well, to Because I know he definitely said, um, you know, the stuff they're saying is, I like these guys, but the stuff they're saying I have nothing to do with. I just want to see if we could catch that. Okay. It was some kind of comment like that. I thought that it was very important. Let's see if we could find it. Question. That's it's a really good. I think I said it earlier. I think I said it earlier on the show. If you haven't seen it, dude, check out the the cut uh, piece from SNL. The Limu Emu uh, Liberty Mutual yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking yeah, sketch is fun. fucking hilarious. Dude, so can we play it? Are we allowed to play it? If you it's think awesome. that sketch is hilarious, you think SNL is hilarious. Yeah. Busted. Busted. Right there. <laughs> if you thought the Emu sketch. That was for SNL online then only. Then any episode of SNL in the past 10 years would have pleased you somewhat. Hey, you guys mind if I <laughs> crap, crack, crap, crack open a cold one? Let's see how many hours this spice. This is my secret mystery. Mid yes, show. a lot more hours. Juice here. And let's see. I'm just going to take a couple sips of this. Look away. This is not intended to be shared with the public here. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Just delicious. Okay, that bought me a few more minutes of airtime there. Thank you for allowing me to uh, charge up. Okay, let me just play it real quick here. Hey, uh, Envy 4, and there's people you just are happy that are fucking killing. It's even beyond that. Like, it's it's, it's hard to suspend disbelief when you know somebody really closely. Yeah. And you, they. You I were, hope Nate falls and crumbles, <laughs> into a, a pit of fire. I still but, haven't watched Nate's yeah. SNL shit. <laughs> no, you shut okay. your fucking mouth. We all tuned in, man. We all did. Hell was, yeah, dude! Everybody, man. thank no, you, no, guy. Really thank you, guy in the back that we don't care. No, about. Just, uh, it's, it's it's one it's guy. It's been getting mad. He fuck really it. Wants he, to we have to do another half hour. It's been I thought, I thought so awesome. more than a half hour. It's so awesome to watch. I don't want compliments. Awesome, I know. I uh -oh. hate them. I, I hear feel you. All right, let's very say uncomfortable about like. everything. Hold on. <laughs> let's, let's say the things we did not like about your Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. Look at that. He doesn't he like that. Like he didn't shit. laugh. He didn't laugh from that. 
He's like, I don't like compliments. They make me uncomfortable. And then Lewis, giving him another bag for this, by the way, we have to seven bags. Lewis goes, okay, and let's talk about the parts. trip to Jamaica with his girlfriend. How about that? Yes, you know, all expenses paid trip to Jamaica. I'll give you a $595 value. That's how much he spends when he goes to these trips. Trust me. So uh, they go, okay, we won't compliment you. How about we talk about the stuff that we didn't like? And he kind of... Kind of doesn't want to do that either. Very, All right, let's say very uncomfortable about like. everything. Hold on. <laughs> let's, let's say the things we did not like about your... Yes. Yeah. No, that's a fair thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. Ooh. Ooh. You he look wants like a- shit. Your hair's dumb. <laughs> By the way, that was, that was a major issue for me. <laughs> <laughs> I will say Ooh. that the, uh, the, Trump, the Trump sketch that they had you Uh-oh. in paled in comparison to your fucking Trump speed dating yeah. sketch. <laughs> You, I don't. Yeah, and, and I, I like that. Was, that was you good enough of an sticking up for that us. And, you couldn't get Kyle on. Your dad's cooler now. I don't like. Yeah. I don't like how much yeah. we've empowered Phil the Phil. audience Phil. now. All right, Phil, Phil, let's go with Phil. 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 Oh, no, we're gonna hear Phil. I don't Jake, care for it. R.I.P. Tibbs. Jake, punch him in his fucking R. I. P. mouth. R.I.P. That dog, Tibbs. Uh, let's go I'm with kill uh, the other questions show. instead of I, I yeah I'd prefer not compliments. You don't want compliments. They weren't doing compliments. No, I feel uncomfortable. That was a question. Everything that's happening. Dude, you're super sexy. Next question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell Dude, that to the wardrobe people. Was, but Dude, they moved sure. on from I, compliments I so to my negative kind. things. Yeah, remember that? <laughs> any so. penis was gonna pop out of my sheets <laughs> <laughs> in between sketches. My okay. tiny penis. I'd worry about that. That's the best thing about having a tiny penis. Okay, well I don't think we're gonna catch it here. But take it from me. He says it. He says he doesn't. You know. He doesn't want to be really associated with what they're saying. He's not uh, saying anything bad here, America. He's on uh, the good side of things. So was that it? Was there all the was there all the things that happened there with Pretty that? Much. Shane Gillis, SNL. We hated it. We just hated it. And 